All right, well, we're back, and as you can see, everything has been put back together. Uh, sorry if this is a bit of a jump from the last video I had. There's not a lot going on when putting this back together. I basically just reassembled everything. As of right now, we have the clutch blood. My dad is in the car. He's been helping me out. Um, I've got the truck hooked up. We're jumping the car because the battery is a little bit low. And uh, we just got done running the 15 to 20 seconds with no spark and no gas to make sure that our oil pump has moved oil up into the engine so we can actually try to start it. So what I'm gonna be doing now is putting the coil packs, plugging those back in, and then plugging the fuel pump back in, and I'll be able to start it. Okay, try it out. So I am very excited. I uh, just got it rolled out of the garage. It started up perfect the first time. Uh, we let it run. The first time we let it run until the cold start was over. And then I went through and I checked all the fluids, made sure everything was good, topped everything off. Uh, as it sits right now, I still do not have the coolant system bled. Uh, I didn't actually lose any coolant when we did the first couple starts, so I'm just going to keep a really close eye on that. Got my fan hooked up, and I'm actually going to go and take it for a little drive and uh, just kind of see if we can break it in a little bit. I'm still very nervous about this whole process. I've never had to break in a new engine before, so everything here is completely new to me. So right now, I'm going to hook up my blue driver so we can monitor all the systems on the car. I can see all of the temperature specifically instead of just looking at a gauge. And then, like I said, I don't have the coolant bled, so we're going to keep a really close eye on it, and I'm not going to go very far from home. So we went and drove it around. We put about seven miles on it. I don't have any issues so far. I feel pretty comfortable about putting the front clip back on. So we're gonna be putting the front bumper and everything back on the vehicle so that I can actually go and take it out somewhere. Uh, I didn't want to get any trouble, you know, without any headlights, or, you know, turn signals and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be putting the front end of the car back together. Everything seems to be really healthy. I don't want to speak too soon, but so far this has been a very successful overhaul. Again, I want to say thank you to Jacob Crabtree from ECS Tuning who's been helping me out. He's helped me out so much. They're a great company. All their parts are good quality and I'm very happy with the way that everything has turned out. Also wanna do a shout out to my cousin, David Hibbert, who actually helped me tear this thing all the way down and put it all the way back together. Uh, he recently moved, so he wasn't able to be here for the initial startup and everything like that, but I really appreciate his help and everything like that. He's a great mechanic and I couldn't have done it without him.